Hello, I'm Avery. This is Online Income Network. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use transitions that you get from Mixkit. Or even if you don't get your transitions from Mixkit and you get them from somewhere else, I'm going to show you how to use these methods that I know on how you can implement them in. There's at least three different methods that I know about. So I'm going to go ahead and add video chapters into this video so you can navigate through and figure out which one is going to be the method that you'll need to use for whichever transition that you got. Now, with that being said, I also want to talk about Mixkit real quick. If you never heard of it, you can get more than transitions up there. You can get things like call outs, lower thirds, titles. You can also get stock photography. Well, not stock photography, but you can get stock videos and you can get stock music up there. So you can also get all that for free and you don't even gotta sign in. So if they're interested, then check out the link below. So what I wanna do is start off by downloading one of these files from off Mixkit. And you can see I'm up here right now. They got two different files that you can download. One is the Premiere Pro project. And then the other one is a MOGRT, which is a motion graphics file. So the easier one of the two is the motion graphics file. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that off first. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one right here to download. So just go here where it says download. You can see that pops up for me and that's it. So I can either save this uh, zip file or I can just open it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And I'm already in transitions. It's name rectangle. I'm gonna take out mix kit and just put rectangle there. And I'm gonna save it as that. All right, so. So you can see that I opened up my folder and I have transition downloaded right here, which is already opened up on this side. Now I also wanna say that you gotta have some type of program that will open up these RAR files or zip files, whichever one you end up calling them. But what I do is I use WinRAR and I also use WinZip. So if you're interested in using either one of those, I'll have a description. Well, I have a description. I'll have a link to both in the comment section pinned. So you can see that I got the assets, I got the MO, I got the motion graphics over here and I got a preview. So what I'm gonna do, I don't really need to do anything other than grab this motion graphics and take it over here and you can see that it says mix kit 467 so what i'm going to do is go from both of these i'm gonna move these over to the side and i'm going to go into premiere pro open that up i already have something ready and you see that i'm on the editing tab i'm going to go to the effects tab and that will open up my panel with effects on the right, which shows off all the ones that I got up here already, as far as transitions and titles and other things like that. So I'm gonna add another motion graphics one, which is the one I just downloaded. So what I need to do is find my transitions right here. And I'm going to look for the transition that I just added, which I believe is 468, that's 467. So I'm gonna take 467 and I'm gonna go ahead and look for it down here. It should be down here somewhere. Go back up. And there it is. So all I have to do is click on it and drag and drop. And then over here, you can see that this red bar pops up around the yellows. That means I have to render it. Otherwise it's gonna make everything a little choppy when I try to play it. Um, but before I do that, you can see that if I go slow at it, it's right there. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot and see if it'll play at least a little bit. Okay, so you can see that's how it looks. And if I wanna change it at all, I can go ahead and just highlight it and then go to effects. It'll take it to the edit tab instead of browse and then that's where I can edit it a little bit but you know I'm gonna leave that for you to figure out. So the second method I'm going to use is showing you how to implement projects into 
your current project that you got. So what I want to do, instead of going back to Mix Kit, I'm going to take one of the projects that I already have downloaded. So I got here, you can see I got a couple right here, but I'm actually going to go to this one, which is Mix Kit Zoom and Spin. And I got the preview right here. I'm gonna show that off. And that's how the transition looks. So you can see that I don't have any assets in this one, which is cool because I ain't got to worry about it. Assets. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I got my project video chapters and I'm going to import that project over here. So I'm going to go back and open up my folder and I'm going to take this over here. That's going to ask if I want to import the entire project, which I do. I'm going to have these two checked as well, which is create folder for imported items and allow importing duplicate media. Press OK. And it's going to ask me where is this transition at? It's asking me where the preview is. It's giving me the file path that was on the person's computer that uploaded in the first place. Obviously, it's on my computer now. It's not on their computer anymore, which is why it's asking that. So. I don't even need to show the preview video for this particular file or this particular transition. So I'm going to just go ahead and go offline and I'm going to show you why I got mix kit 50 up here. You can see that it's highlighted as soon as it comes in. So I got the zoom shake transition. I go down. I don't mess with assets. I just take the sequence and bring the sequence over. And what I'll do is zoom in a little bit. I'll go back to editing and you can see that the zoom shake transition is right here. This is the file that I didn't show, which would be the preview. So in other words, it's this uh, clip and this clip. So what I'm going to do is just take that off by deleting it. And I'm going to go ahead and let it go. And you can see I still, you can see that it's still a little messed up. So I got to render this one, but you can see that the effect is there. So I'm going to try to do this one more time without rendering and see how well it goes. And you can see it's a little bit, but it's not, it's too choppy. So I'm going to go ahead and render it. So not only is it going to render this file right here, but it's going to render the other transition that I still got up here. And while it's doing this, I might as well go ahead and say, hey, if you like the video so far, why don't you go ahead, make sure you like the video, like actually press the like button on it. Let YouTube know that, you know, this is a good video to let other people see. So I can get rich. Let me say, let me go ahead back to where this is. You can see that now the render file, instead of it being red, it's now green. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it play. Okay, that was a little too quick, so let's try one time. So you saw that one. Let's bring this one over. You can see it looks the exact same, right? Do it one more time. And there you have it. But just in case, let me go ahead and put this over into a, a different area. Now, if you move it, you'll have to render it again anytime you move it which kind of sucks but it's just I mean, it's just one of those things where it just is what it is so yeah in all honesty i should put it over here but i think you can understand that it's working so yeah i'm not going to spend too much time on that so the last way i'm going to show that you can bring something over is uh it's going to be a transition with assets so what i want to do is go back to the same folder of transitions and i'm going to pick a different one which is this one right here and i'm going to show you a preview for this one it's over here let me uh let me bring this over here try that one more time it's going to be this preview right here and you can see that this one got assets, like I was saying. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this project. 
I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Have both of these two checked and then it's gonna make another one up here. And then I got placeholder JPEG, which I don't need. So I'm not gonna bring this over. But if it was an asset, then I would bring that over. So you can see right here in this folder, which is 150, it has three separate folders. One is edit with shot one, shot two. You got the final one and then you got the assets. So if it had asked, if I really needed the placeholder, then I would have brought it over, but I don't. So I got this sequence. I got these two sequence, shot one, shot two. And then I got the final transition sequence. So I'm gonna bring this over. You can see that, bam, looks like that. But because I didn't bring over this, because I didn't bring over the projects or the, placeholders because I didn't bring over the placeholders I just have the media all file so what I want to do here is I'm going to open up sequences shot one shot two and I'm going to open up the asset sequence which is DV4 so all I'm going to do to open it up is just double click on it and I open it up right here right beside the other sequence shot one shot two and then D4. So shot one, it doesn't have anything here. So I'm gonna place something in here that I would want to be here. So let's go and I'm just pick something at random just so you understand that it works. So it'll go and this is where the transit start and this is where it will end. And I'm gonna go ahead to shot two sequence and I'm gonna place something there as well. So I'm gonna go here same thing where the transition starts where it ends and that's how it's going to look so going here you can see that i got both and i'm going to go back to the sequence and then let it run actually i'm gonna take this sequence out I'm gonna take this one out and put in a new one. So let's do that again. Final transition, and I'm gonna put it somewhere like there in the middle. Let's try that again. And now you see I have shot one, which is this one, transition into shot two, just like that. So I let it go and that's it. So let's say you, just because I just took two, one, two of them at complete random, to make this look a little better, to make it actually work with this video, what I will actually do instead is, now that I have the sequence exactly where I want it, I would actually take this file here at the top. Let me, I would take this file right here I will cut this up over here and I will cut this up here and I cut that one and what I'm going to do instead is uh, I'm going to cut this I'm trying to cut this one out like that bring this over like that and then I'm going to copy this one and then bring that in the shot one instead so I'm going to have that one in shot one Cut this a little more and it goes it almost goes to the end but I'll make it make sure it goes to the end I'm gonna do the same thing with shot two so I'm gonna bring this over I'll copy this go to shot two I'm gonna take this out and then put shot two kind of stops right there so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this like that and you can see that this one still has the same one. So what I'm gonna do is, once again, I'm gonna delete this one and then bring in the transition again, a new one. And let me also help myself out by 
scrolling that down and scrolling this up a little so I can uh, actually have a better shot at seeing this stuff. It's a little better. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring it down and try to bring it closer to the middle. I'm trying to put it right where that is. Okay, there you go. So you try that one more time. And that's how it looks. And it's that simple. So, so there you have it, three different methods that you can use to implement any transitions from MixKit or transitions that you get from anywhere else into your Premiere Pro projects. So let me know which method was it that you were stomped on. And also let me know if it helped you out. So if it did, why don't you go ahead, like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you can get notified when new videos come out for me because I make new videos every week. And thanks for watching.